find that spy. Maybe I should ask around. Tell me a bit about yourself. Oh, great. Show and tell. Yay. What do you think about Jeffrey Hunter? He's a village idiot who thinks he can brown nose his way to a promotion. Fucking big Jeff. And no, he ain't my friend. If you haven't pieced that together. What do you do when you're off duty? Nothing special. See my folks, I guess. They ain't getting any younger, so... And I give most of my paycheck to them, because I'm the only one they got left. Your sister died. And I ain't married, so... When I ain't with them, I'm at the bar. Drowning the shitstorm that my life's become. Not exactly a picture-perfect life, but it's mine. And hell, I get paid enough to help them out and buy my own drinks, so... What's there to complain about? I'm gonna leave you alone. Seems you'd rather be that way anyway. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to bug you, but I gotta talk to you about something. Look, uh, Lieutenant, maybe it's just because I'm not used to life in the city, but... Cut to the point, soldier. I just... I, I, I think we're being tailed, sir. I think someone's been watching us, but I don't... I, I don't know why. <sighs> All right. Any ideas how to figure out who it is? Hell yeah. I ain't no hunter for nothing, sir. I'd say we could leave from, say, the barracks or something and head towards the exchange. But, you know, at casual, like it's just another day. We just treat it like we're out for a walk. Then, once we know we're being followed, we lead him to a trap down a dead-end road. And pow! You got him. Or her. Whoever it is. That's one way to go. I don't know. Gotta be an easier way. But let me... Colonel Ian Manser came by looking for you. Hope this isn't going to be a habit, Lieutenant. He's of course. I'll go see him on my Have a moment, Captain. Depends what you need it for. Just want to get to know you better, Captain. I don't usually mix business and pleasure, Lieutenant, but ask away and we'll see which questions I feel like answering. How was your rise to Captain Earned? Hmm. Over time. But by no special action by me. Graduated as a corporal, and thanks to the brave men underneath me, their success in missions became mine in rank. No heroic feats to dazzle you with in stories. Just a lot of time and dedication that I'm proud of just the same. You from Ophir? Born and raised. Father was an officer. Mother was a quartermaster. And I've rarely ventured outside the walls for a few scattered missions. Sound familiar, Lieutenant? Very familiar, Captain. Except my parents weren't officers. Which makes your rise even more noble, Lieutenant. Can I ask about your relationship with ASC? Tread carefully, Lieutenant. One might start to wonder the... But here's my answer. We're all forced to work with them, but it doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Too much power too quickly leads to arrogance. They're brash and too quick to act. And quite frankly, as they've risen in power, it's no coincidence that the dissenters, deviants, and rebels have risen in numbers. And they're a great source of intel, however they get it. And they sleep better at night not knowing the means. But I've always thought the army was strength enough, that the ASC was overkill. I trust you won't repeat anything I've said, Lieutenant. I'd hate for both of us to find ourselves enemies of the state over a little frank conversation. My lips are sealed, Captain, and I appreciate your candor and trust more than you know.
I can't open it without a code. Everything's clean in here. It's just like the captain's work. Nothing that implies she's working with the ASC. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. At your command, Lieutenant. Have a second to talk? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, just you and me. I like to. Wow, that's. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that'd be a huge honor, Lieutenant. So what's your life like when you're not on duty? I tell you the truth, Lieutenant, not much to tell. I, I try to visit the city, make some friends, you know, because I don't really know too many folks yet. And my whole family's back in Greenhope, which is kind of too far to travel for my leave. And, um, oh yeah, there's also, you know, I try to still do some hunting. Though there's not much more than small critters in the underworks, not a great hobby for the city. Do you have a good childhood? Oh, yeah, you know it, Lieutenant. Really nice growing up, running around in the fields. Father gave me a crossbow, and I spent my time helping the farmers shoot critters hurting their crops. They were good times, Lieutenant, but everybody's got to grow up and move on. There was a lot of hunters in Green Hope, too. Plus, I always dreamed of being a soldier. Mostly, though, because there was a girl back home who loved men in uniform, so... Off I went to the big city to join up. And, you know, since I was a sharpshooter, they signed me up and sent me here. Still not used to it. All the buildings, all the folks, all the concrete. But I'm happy, though. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Feels like a Green Hope souvenir stand. Kid must be missing home. Unless being messy's a crime, though. Doesn't look like he's doing anything wrong. At your command! So what is it you want to talk? Look, uh, Lieutenant, maybe it's just... Cut to the point. I just... I... <sighs> All right. Hell yeah. We just treat it? That's one way to go. All right. Why not? Let's try it. See what happens. Maybe I should take this opportunity to look into this spy. Or I can take a little rest. Maybe I should take this opportunity to look into this spy. Or I can take a little... Maybe I'll use that time off to go visit my mother. I haven't seen her in a while. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. I can't open it without a code. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Maybe I should 
take this opportunity to look into this spy. Or we can take a little rest. Lieutenant? How old are you? The fuck does it matter to you? Older than you, though. I want to know about your childhood. You really want to know about my childhood? Sure, yeah, why not? My dad was never around. He was either on the front or doing drills. My mother, though, she was stationed here in Ophir. So we lived in a guard outpost in the slums where she worked. Never expected to make more of myself than become a soldier. I fought a lot as a kid. Had my share of girls. But home life was pretty strict, so I tried to toe the line. Mostly because when I fucked up, I never got off easy. So when'd you join? Five years ago. Time fucking flies, don't it? It was in 126. My parents were beaming with pride. Pride that's faded when, after all this time, I'm still just a fucking private. It's got my whole schedule in here, and the names of every single person we saw together. Must have been Dave keeping tabs on me the whole time. Never would have believed it. I guess if you could spot them, though, they wouldn't be so damn powerful. Lieutenant? I know you're a drinking man, so what do you say we go grab one together? Looks like it's my lucky day. Sure. Why the hell not? Lead the way. So why don't you cut the bull and tell me why we're really here? Sure. You've been spying on me, Dave. Been reporting everything back to Victor. I don't like rats. That's not all right with me. And what? You think I ever had a choice in the matter? Think I had the option to say no? I don't care. All I know is they got all the intel they wanted on me from one of my own soldiers, and I don't know why. What's your angle, Dave? You bitter you got a mancer as your lieutenant? I thought we were past all that. What'd they promise you? Promotion? Better pay? Nothing but a promise they wouldn't hurt my parents. Is that a good enough reason? I don't like the ASC. Don't like what they're doing to Abundance. Don't like what they're doing to me. I don't like the deal they offered, and I don't like that I didn't have a choice but to accept it. I ain't got no one but my folks since my sister died. Not that I expect you to shed a tear for me, but... If I gotta choose between them and you... Sorry, brother. You're on the losing end of that. If it helps, though, I don't think you're the full prick you were before we had this little chat. In fact, I might even have liked you in another time and place. But you're in deep shit now. And it's shit I don't want to get pulled into with you. I don't want your blood on my hands, David. But I can't let you keep doing what you're doing. So I'm just gonna tell you to get the hell out of Ophir and don't look back. I don't... sure. Yeah, sure. Bye, Lieutenant. Officer, I need to talk to you. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, officer, but I have important information about the Vori and their illegal activities. What kind of information? It's 
I've worked for the mob. For months, I was put in charge of laundering the serum, but I, I can't do it anymore. The pressure it put on me, the fear of getting caught. So I have decided to tell the authorities anything they may want to know about the Vori's operations. Give them any evidence they need. But I'm scared, officer, for my life. I just need an escort to see the investigators. Can you help me out? Let me think about it. Of course. Sure. I need time to grab some documents the investigators will want to see. In the meantime, I'll just pray you'll agree to pick me up tomorrow. Zachariah, a pla- I found the mole. David Ward was running line. In these times, spies are everywhere. They used to be like rats, but now bear more resemblance to cockroaches. Should you see one, you can be certain a hundred more reside in the walls, each placed there while their arms were twisted by the ASC. So what happened with this Ward? I couldn't find it in myself to kill him, so I released him and let him run, like a rat. I would assume he's still running, and we'll never see him in Ophir again. The full blame cannot be cast on him. There are few who the ASC cannot bend to their will. We'll cross our fingers. Hopefully this soldier is gone for good and does not find himself arrested before he should escape.
ready to try your plan out? Ha! Yeah, absolutely, Lieutenant! All right. Just out on a stroll, right? Yeah, yeah, just a stroll. He won't suspect anything. We should probably go right now. We can head down this alley and over towards the archives. We'll pass security, and there's a chance he might get suspicious, but I think we'll be fine. Did you hear? They finally got the psychopath who took a hostage. Oh, look now, oh, we gained the tail of the Let's just keep heading straight further, office, I think. And the whole thing was completely right. nuts. Sir, that lunatic only did it so they wiped his gambling debts. Can you believe it? Pretty easy to believe. There we go. He's following us. Just gotta keep him with us until we get to the dead end street. Pass the checkpoint. We'll corner him there. Dead end's right there. We just gotta get him in there, and we'll have him trapped. We'll finally know who our spy is, Lieutenant. Who the hell are you? Why are you following us? You got nowhere to run. You're surrounded. Find something that'll help explain why he's tailing it. The hell is this? Looks like a notebook. And I'm willing to bet it's Alan Manser behind all this shit. Looks like the little rat reported me to the ASC. What? Really? Why would another Manser tell on you? And for what? You're a great lieutenant, sir. You haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, well, let's just say Alan's not exactly a fan. This time, little shit's gone too far. He's gonna give me an explanation. Hey there. Officer, hello.
Thank you. You came. Thank you. Let's get going as soon as possible. All right. Let's go. 